when I predict this correct, I, I wouldn't be able to say I told you so. <laughs> All right? I need to be able to, to go back and have this proof laid down to say, hey, I told you the Denver Nuggets was going to the NBA Finals, and I told you the Boston Celtics was going to the NBA Finals because that's what's going to happen. The Denver Nuggets is going back to the finals, bro, based on the fact that they have an advantage over any and everybody in the Western Conference. Nobody is messing with them. Nobody is more consistent than the Denver Nuggets right now as a unit. And Denver Nuggets, they're still the most complete team in basketball right now, especially when you're only looking at the Western Conference. They got hella bench support. They got uh, a great coaching. They have the ability to score, the ability to defend, great amount of experience. All of these factors are adding up in their favor. And then most importantly, these guys are consistent at what they do in terms of defending the ball and scoring the ball and shooting the ball and sharing the ball. They're consistent in everything that they do in every area of play. Also, Mike Malone, the head coach, this dude is great at making in-game adjustments. I love watching the Denver Nuggets play. Sometimes it's boring. I'm not going to cap. <laughs> Sometimes it is boring because they play basic basketball. They play fundamental basketball as well. They make the correct passes. They don't do flashy stuff. They just win ball games. They take good shots. It's good basketball to watch. If you want to look at some good basketball games going on, watch the Denver Nuggets. But head coach Mike Malone makes a lot of great in-game adjustments, and this is going to help them out this postseason and in the playoffs because he's going to outcoach a lot of these other teams in the Western Conference because they don't know what they're doing. <laughs> so I, I got to go with the Denver Nuggets. And, and, you know, other teams in the West, obviously, that they're worth a conversation, I guess. But the only team I could see really matching up with the Denver Nuggets is the Los Angeles Clippers. And that's strictly based on paper and, and what they can do on paper because, bro, this, this, this team is just not fair. Looking at the Clippers, that team is not fair. Paul George, Kawhi Leonard, J uh, James Harden, Russell Westbrook coming off the bench? Are you kidding me? That, that Clippers team is just not fair, but they, they have so many inconsistencies within their game that I notice time after time. And then every time the playoffs happen, we know what happens, bro. They prove to me once again that that's just the wrong side of L.A. and that they cannot continue to move forward. So, you know, they got to show me before I really believe in them. And as I said last episode, I still don't think they can beat the Dallas Mavericks in seven games. Um, I got the Dallas Mavericks beating them. So we got to see what happens with that. But they're probably the best team to actually match up with the Denver Nuggets on paper um, and, and hopefully it translates to to the court so I don't know we'll see and then Oklahoma City Thunder those guys are sitting number one right now and you know it's time to snap back into reality let's let, let's get back to the basics these boys ain't got no experience in the playoffs they're bound to get beat in the first round if they play the Lakers or if they play the Warriors let's just call it for what it is bro these, these guys they not cut like that they're not going to the finals first year, second year players. It's just not happening. It ain't happened since Magic Johnson. So, you know, I, I don't think that's going to happen. But, you know, there's another conference out here that's shaking up the league, bro. The Eastern Conference. That team over there that's going to the NBA Finals is the Boston Celtics. Those boys going back. And they might take care of business. I don't know. We got we to gotta get a little bit closer. I got to see how they've been playing this postseason. But the Celtics, they're going to the finals because it's just so obvious. They are clearly the most talented team in the East by far. Nobody in the Eastern Conference is on their level. And the team we thought was going to be on their level in the Milwaukee Bucks have struggled all year long with consistency issues. They got all kind of problems going over there. Things happening in the locker room. Um, that, that's causing them to play bad. They can't figure out the offensive end. They got terrible coaching in Doc Rivers. They can barely play defense. Like, they've been struggling as an entire unit, and, and I'm not worried about the Milwaukee Bucks if they happen to play the Boston Celtics at any point in the playoffs because Celtics, diverse team. They got multiple styles they can play. They're the second-best defensive team in the Eastern Conference, and they're the first-best offensive team in the NBA. So I have no worries about anybody in the East really beefing with the Celtics and causing them to get get the boot out the playoffs. I don't see that happening. 
I would say personally, expect the Celtics to have a couple of bad games. Expect the Celtics to come out flat, play bad a little bit, because this is what they do, and this is what they've done over the past few years. But when push comes to shove and it's time for them to really buckle down, we see the Celtics rise to the occasion every single time. So, you know, I got the Denver Nuggets and the Boston Celtics. They're going to be battling it out against each other in the NBA Finals this year. I'm excited to see what happens.